Hey guys, I'm Brian, and when I'm not out canceling people's IFR flight plans while airborne for fun, sometimes I actually test aviation-related products. Today I'm going to test an aviation product that answers the age-old question, how do pilots use the facilities while they're in flight? Well, if you're watching this video, you're probably airborne and about to wet your pants, so without further delay, let's get going. All right, guys, so here's the scenario. You're a few hours into a long cross-country flight and you've been sipping on your favorite beverage. Now you realize you kind of need to use the restroom. You got a couple of options. You could, of course, land the plane, use the restroom on the ground, uh, but you didn't spend all your hard-earned money on overpriced av gas just to go down there and have to do it all over again. So another option pilots have is something like this. This is called a flight extender. Um, essentially, it's just a portable urinal. Um, it's got a screw top here and there's the mouth of it. Um, you're probably thinking, rightfully so, this isn't going to work for everybody. Brian, a certain subset of the aviation community isn't going to be able to use this to pee. Some people pee sitting down. So they do have an adapter for Cirrus pilots that you can just stick right in here. And now anybody can use it. It's very forward thinking. As a Cirrus pilot myself, I wanted to make that joke about Bonanza pilots, but they throw the best parties at Oshkosh and I want to be invited. Now, you don't have to buy one of these. Some people use Gatorade bottles or other beverage bottles, but you could see there's scenarios where that might cause some really terrible confusion. Um, and so it's better to have something like this just to avoid that mistake. Uh, what I would like to show you, though, in case you're wondering, how does this work in a real scenario? Let's take the plane up and um, I'm actually going to demonstrate this for you. Uh, but in the spirit of being safe, I'm going to bring a safety pilot with me just because I don't want to do anything distracting or dangerous in the airplane. But uh, let's go fly. So it's a Piper. It's a lot like your Warrior, only this one goes uh, reasonably a reasonable speed. Okay. Yeah, it goes fast. So if you get nervous because of the speed, let me know. We'll slow down. We'll let you know. We might just have to leave the gear down. <laughs> Hey guys, real quick, it's worth pointing out that uh, I brought Christy along and I did not tell her what the plan was, so she has no idea what's about to happen. Let's continue. All right, so what we'll do is we'll get out kind of maybe Gainesville or something and just find some airspace that's a little bit quiet. And okay. I just need two, min two minutes of your time. Okay. I like that you don't know why you're here. I, <laughs> I like that you're just jumping. I feel like I've been kidnapped. I know. I like it. <laughs> I also, so in case this makes it into the edit, uh, I'm bringing Christy Schaefer along uh, as a safety pilot because anytime we're doing an experiment such as the one that you know we're about to do, I don't want to be distracted. The plane, I want to have someone here who's competent or mildly competent at flying aircraft while we do what we've already discussed. Experiment? It'll be fine. Okay, so to proceed with what I want to show you today, I've gone ahead and brought up a safety pilot just because I understand the importance of not being distracted when I'm trying to fly the airplane. So Christy, uh, you guys may know Christy Schaefer. Uh, now she was my instrument flight instructor. And as you saw in my last video, she did a good job, I guess. Um, and I got a couple other instrument flights that are in the books that I'm going to video as well. So uh, do you mind taking the flight controls for just a second? Yeah, I can take the flight controls. Okay, it's, it's just like a Piper. It's only, well, it is a Piper, it's just a much faster Piper. Okay, gotcha. Okay. I have flight controls. All right. So what, what I want to do is I'm going to take the device here and you want to just unscrew the lid. Oh my God. I'm just going to. Uh, Ryan, what do you do? <laughs> oh, did you want to demonstrate it? No, get that. Have you used that before? How would I be able to demonstrate it to people if I haven't used it? <laughs> God, put that away. Well, hold it for just a second. Is it warm? <laughs> it's a little too warm. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm teaching people how to use the restroom in the plane when you're on a long flight. This is the, the flight <laughs> no. extenders. We're not doing that. We're not. You know what? You're not allowed to drink anything between now and the time the flight is over. Put that thing away. You just fly. Oh my! What are you doing? Uh, did you want, are you thirsty? No! Oh my god! What? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just enjoying the flight. You're PIC. Oh my god, dude, we're, that's it, we're going home. 
Well, unfortunately, that didn't work. Um, it's, I guess I, I understand her reaction. Um, but I do feel bad that if you got this far in the video, especially if you're in the air and need to pee, you don't know what to do. Um, so what I'm going to do is something uh, that I'm going to call hypothetical mode. Um, since I can't do this in the air with a safety pilot, what I'm going to do is um, create a hypothetical situation where I can demonstrate this so that you guys get the real picture of, of how this whole system works. So um, I'm going to need a, a co-pilot. All right, so now we're simulating that we're in flight and we're, oh, hey, how's it going? How do I get roped into this stuff? Yeah, um, don't worry about it. Just uh, just hang out. Okay. All right, so now we're simulating. This is a hypothetical. We're simulating that we're in flight and we want to use this, um, but I think it's important to point out if you got a passenger in the plane, this can be a little bit awkward. Um, and so the passengers probably got a couple of techniques that they're going to want to implement in order to keep this from being too awkward. Now, if I'm a passenger in this situation, the thing that I'm probably going to do is just stare at the most awkward parts of the entire situation just to make the pilot uncomfortable for doing this with me in the plane. But if you're a passenger in this situation, the best thing might be just to use the old hand wall. Dude, I can hear it. That's gross. Shh. Dude, I can hear it. It's disgusting and it's making me need to pee. I think I'm going to need another container. This is so disturbing. Dude, stop it. All stop right. being gross. And disgusting. I don't want any part of this. Here, can you hold that? No, I don't want that. That's not mine. That is yours. All right, just throw it in the back with everything else. I use a restroom like a real human person on the ground in a bathroom. Well, guys, that's how that works. Now you guys know how pilots take care of their business when they're flying in the airplane. My personal preference is to land and take care of it on the ground, but if you have to, this option will work for you. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, supporting, sharing the videos and all that kind of good stuff. Hope to see you all at Oshkosh. You guys fly smart. Hey, you want to see something hilarious? So this is something I like to do. Uh, you get on FlightAware and you find these guys. Uh, like you See this guy right here? All right, check it out. This is great. Yeah, Center, uh, this is Centurion uh, Two Zero Yankee. I'd like to go ahead and uh, cancel IFR at this time. That is like legitimately a horrible idea. Yeah, but it's funny. That guy is very likely going to have to declare an emergency. A funny emergency. Nothing funny about that. I'm out. Hey, I'm where out. are you going? I'm out. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.